short video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own wheels for your CO2 drag start. First step is click on one of the planes that you want to sketch on. In this case, I'm going to click on the front plane. I'll click sketch. I've selected the plane, so I now can start sketching. Our CO2 drag start has axles that are 3.2 millimeters, roughly. So we're going to write 3.2 millimeters right there, making sure you do have millimeters as your default units of measurement. They also have wheels that are approximately 38 millimeters in diameter. And we get to choose a thickness at this point. So we might make them 34. So we can have a bit of a rim. There's also another width we're going to include here. We're going to make it 10 millimeters. And this will just give us a bit of buffer rim around the axle hole. So we'll go like that, 10. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to start with. We can either draw some holes at this point so that we can you know, extrude it without with holes pre-existing. So if you have a look here with holes, or we can cut them out later. I'll probably cut them out later for now. So we're going to start by just extruding all of these faces and we're going to choose an arbitrary length. Let's go four millimeters, but I want to do it symmetrically. So it goes in both directions. So let's hold with that on and off. It just goes symmetrically from our sketch. So we'll do it like that. All right, we've got four mils of thickness. Now let's go back to our first sketch. We're also going to add our actual wheel on the end. So we'll go extrude. This time we're going to go 14. Well, actually, let's go 9. And we'll go symmetric. Is that too skinny? Depends if we're going front or rears. Let's go 15 and we'll make it for the rear wheels. And it's symmetric again. So you'll see that's on both sides. And finally, we're going to add this final little part here. And we're going to go some distance in between. So in this case, we might go symmetric again. Let's go eight. And you can play around with these values. Maybe we'll go a bit more. Let's go 12 until you get the desired wheel that you like. All right, we've got something that looks like a wheel. Now we're just going to cut out some holes. The reason we're going to do this is just to make it lighter. You'll notice real wheels has this as well. So we'll go back into sketch. And this time we've selected this face here to start sketching on. So if I go here, click sketch. I'm going to put a circle somewhere in the middle there. Now we could sketch them all in dimension, all these circles. So that's going to be quite tricky. So instead we're going to use one of my favorite tools, which is the circular pattern. And we'll click on this circle and we can make three. We can make five, hopefully. Maybe we could fit six. We don't want to make it too weak. And that's probably pretty good there as well. We can change the dimension of this now. So we'll get nine. Oh, no, we can't. Try that one more time. Actually change the dimension first. We'll go six again. Click on the green button. Click on the sketch, click extrude, and make sure you're removing those holes. And all of a sudden we have a wheel. All right, let's have a look what else we can do here. If you wanna make it a bit more fancy, we can chamfer the edges or fillet the edges. So click on the fillet tool, click on the edge, and we can round these edges as well. Is it necessary? Probably not, but it will look a bit fancier. We can't do it on the inside because we don't have enough of an edge, but we'll just do it on the outside. And that looks pretty good to me. Now that's a wheel that you could add to your CO2 drag. So obviously we're going to do that in the assembly next. I'll make another video for that in a second. 